sitting out here struggling to get this in my car. Men are walking back and forth. No one is trying to help me. It's but why should they? And why would they even want to? After all, women have been telling men over and over again to leave them alone. Women are independent. They don't need men. And now some are complaining when men are actually listening to them. They don't make real men anymore. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not all men, because there are good men out there. That's a very good point. There are good men out there. As a woman, like, you don't see men holding doors anymore. They don't help anymore. They rush and sit down on trains and buses before women and pregnant women and elderly are sitting down. It's just a hot mess out here, but... This really shouldn't come as a surprise. After all, isn't this what some women wanted? What modern feminism was pushing for? For women to be treated as equals to men right? No special treatment needed. No need to hold open a door. Why help out? Women can do everything themselves just as good as men can. But now it seems some are complaining that they got exactly what they asked for. To let me know if I am the only one that has noticed that men are not like how they were when our parents were growing up. Like, I grew up, I don't know if it's because, like, the Italian values or what. Like, I grew up, like, the man is supposed to take care of the woman. The the man is supposed to go up to the girls. Like, the, the man is supposed to have drive and initi initiate everything. Like, I feel like now it's so hard to find guys that, like, even just in general have drive in life. Like, I feel like it's so different. And I don't know, like... I personally never get approached. I never. Maybe something's wrong with me. I don't know. But, like, I, I feel like then, like, whenever I, like, talk about it, everyone's like, oh, well, they, they want the girl to, like, go up to them. Like, wh what? When did this change? When did this change? Because I want a man. I don't want to be the man. Someone come up to me. Anyways, I just feel like there's no manly men. I just don't think so. I think every guy I've met is, like, honestly super emotional and that's fine like I'm all about feelings whatever like I'm an emotional person so like that's okay but I feel like it's definitely like sometimes worse than girls like I'm not even kidding like it's crazy anyways so if anyone knows if family men still exist let me know or if I'm the only one that thinks they don't I don't know When did men become so soft? Why is it that you men want everything that women need? I've never seen such a batch of soft men. Oh, I want to be nurtured. I want to be flew out. I want to be bought nice things. I want to be emotionally loved. I, I'm emotionally traumatized. You men sound like the and then you wonder why these women don't submit to you. Oh, I'm still dealing with mommy. Like, you can sound so goofy and sickening. You are not a woman. Get some fucking balls about yourself. Women come to men for strength, not the other way around. Women come to men for protection, not the other way around. Women come to men for nurturing in a sense, but it's not the way that y'all acting like it. Y'all acting like y'all want to be breastfed all over again. And then you wonder why these women don't respect you. It's not that she's masculine. It's not that she doesn't respect men. She can't view you as a man because you've never given her a safe space to treat you like a man. I'll say it once and I'll say it again. Women act like real women around real fucking men. They can't help it. They become stupid. Oh, I don't know how to do it. They are, when you give them a safe space to do could you get that light bulb for me? Could you help me with that light? They like to be women, but you don't make her feel like one. And that's why they act the way that they do. I am true hurt. in a relationship, should you really have a backup plan? There is new research that shows half of all women have a guy on the back burner just in case things go wrong in their current relationship. Physician and national mindful living expert Dr. Romy Mushtaq is here to talk more about that. Dr. Romy, seriously? Good morning, Tom. I know. and I Come on, like this sounds positively guy. Guy, doesn't it? And I have to sit here and defend all of us women, but this is the <laughs> latest psychology research. I was just as shocked reading this data. More than half of women who are married and categorize themselves as half 
wait a married. sec. They're married. Happily married Happily women are doing married. this? Have a backup plan. And what is a backup plan? It means you have someone on the back burner. So like a specific person a they've specific identified. A person that they've identified. And in most cases, it was either an ex-boyfriend or an old friend who never made it to the dating category. Get out of town. Unfortunately, yes. And, and the problem is, is social media has just made it too easy to have such a type of behavior. Right, so I know you're here to say, though, yes. watch out, because this Absolutely. is anything but good. It is, I agree. It's an evil world we live in. I'm very much in favor of following whole culture. I've been fascinated by hoes. I, I, the whole apocalypse that we are facing, it's amazing to follow these women and the way that they think. And chief among them right now is Ariana Grande. We covered what she's been up to. She has been proud of being a homewrecker really throughout her entire career. You got a boyfriend, you got a husband, well, Ariana Grande is going to go after them and then ha ha, I don't care you. When everything happens and the dust settles, she does not care about ruining your relationship. Nothing more disgusting than what she did recently. Uh, you know, she was working on Wicked, I working on Wicked, I working on Wicked, I working on Wicked. I think it's either a movie or a play that's coming out, and she's playing Glinda the Good Witch, and she had this really unfortunate looking guy that was playing a part. I don't even know what it was as a munchkin who cares, right? But he was married. And he was married to his high school sweetheart. Her name is Lily J. And they had just had their first child after being there for almost a decade. But that, of course, didn't stop Ariana Grande. Why didn't it stop Ariana Grande? Because that actually excites her. I actually think that she suffers from some random hoe disorder where she actually likes it when a man is taken. She's like, mm, I like that. I want to just, mmm, I need that. Like, she's just turned on by it in a weird way. She didn't care that he was ugly, nothing. She just said, I want to break up this family. And Lily J actually, or via her friends, announced that Ariana Grande actually held their baby. So I want you to think about the level of hoe you need to be at to hold somebody's brand new baby that came out and, like, oh my God, he's so cute, and now I'm going to take the father. She did that. She actually did that. And if you thought that was egregious, Ariana Grande taking Ethan Slater from his high school sweetheart and him recently being a father. Um, and by the way, not even going to talk about him. He's such a weak man. He disgusts me. He's not even worth discussing. Hey, that's funny because a lot of these women over here, the majority of them, they put the H and the O in ho as well. All right, especially the so called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American woman. All right, two thirds of them. All right, we'll read this right here in Amos chapter 7 and verse 17. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashemiah was shy, thy wife shall be an harlot in the city, and thy sons and daughters shall fall by the sword. And thy land shall be divided by line, and thou shalt die in a polluted land. And Israel shall surely go into captivity forth of his land. All right, and we're yet this day living out that, that, that scripture, all right, that punishment, all right. As it tells you in Baruch, chapter 3, and I think it's verse 8. Uh, we are yet this day in our captivity. All right, the we being the so-called Negroes, the Spanish and Native Americans, the Israelites according to the Bible. All right. So before I continue, let me start out by giving all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakai Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach in the course where I learn this truth. Peace and salutations to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, the the house of David. All right, today is January the 23rd, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. All right, year 2024, hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. All right, and um, you know, just got off of work, it's early in the morning. All right. But um, I had the, the, uh, the, the clips that you just seen, I had them put together and I wanted to do a lesson. All right, so here it is. All right, so I showed you that, that comp right quick. Um, It's two parts, all right. The first part is showing, you know, how these women are complaining that they can't find a real man anymore. And, you know, what they define as a real man really isn't, you know, a real man. All right, um, yeah, some of the attributes that they look for in a man could, could go with a real man, but them what they looking for all right that's not what a real man is according to the scriptures a real man 
is, is the uh, man that fears your how about man I was shot and only the elect is what like men all right one third of them all right or fit in that category all right and, and, and you women over here are starting to see all right that without one of those men your life is miserable all right and not only is your life miserable but in the times we coming into none of Jacob's trouble all right you're gonna be left out there without a covering and if you ain't with an elect Israelite man you're gonna die all right that's that's the woman's only way all right onto a chariot all right unless she's an aged woman of the elect all right you know but even then you know the lord gonna do what he gonna do but these young women out here all right you know they've already turned aside after satan all right being esau all right they want to be independent when they want to be independent but then they want to have men all right uh do shit for them when they can't do it for themselves all right but what they finna find out is that they need a man for everything all right you women ain't even gonna be walking around without a man all right it's isaiah 32 and verse 2 and a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land, all right? And it's talking about an Israelite elect man, not just know any man, all right? Isaiah 13 and 12, it reads, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir, all right? And you're seeing that being uh, done before your eyes, all right? Those who have eyes to see, all right? Because, you know, let me see. Let me get this also. Ecclesiastes 1. Alright, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 1. It says, Who is as the wise man? And who knoweth the interpretation of a thing? A man's wisdom maketh his face to shine, and the boldness of his face shall be changed. Alright, so who's shining out here? The elect. Alright, and the elect only. All right, the rest of these niggas out here are taken by bread and circuses, all right, and, and, and whatever other delusion, all right, the Lord got them in, all right? And in the times we're coming into, again, known as Jacob's trouble, them men aren't going to be, all right, um, equipped to help you women, all right? They're going to use you women for spoils, but they ain't going to be out here necessarily, you know what I'm saying, trying to, uh, you know, protect you like that, all right? This, this Ecclesiastes 39 and 28. It say there are spirits, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes in the time of destruction. And coming into the time of destruction, Jacob's trouble. All right, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. All right, so these men are going to be, all right, out here destroying you women. All right, that's what the scriptures is telling. They're going to appease the wrath of him that made them. And a lot of you women, all right, Got that uh, Isaiah 13 and 16 judgment on the books for you, all right? You want to live a horse lifestyle over here, then you, now, now, now you're going to uh, be giving up to it, all right? Let's see. Uh, okay, what was that? Yeah, one second. Y okay. Let me go back to that Isaiah 13. All right, now I had a couple of clips play, you know. Y'all saw them. Isaiah 13 and 16, start at verse 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. Everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. All right, you know what ravished means. All right, let me get that definition. All right. Okay. It says seize Ravish. And, seize and carry off someone by force. So this is what's coming to a lot of these women over here. They're gonna get seized and carried off by force, all right? Let's see. All right. It says right here, what does ravish mean in the Bible? All right, and you can read with your eyes what it say to you see the word, all right. And then it says humble, all right? And then look at the scripture that's next to it. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. And everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled in their wives. I literally just read that scripture, all right? And it's letting you know what's going down, all right? Uh, all right, this is another one. 
It says to devastate, destroy, or lay waste to something. All right. Then it says uh, to pillage or plunder destructively. All right. This is all coming to you women to sack. All right. It says to wreck destruction, slaying to have vigorous sexual intercourse with slaying to and you see this word right here all right and that's what's gonna happen to a lot of these women over here all right we ain't gotta go uh, let me go back right quick okay so yeah all these proud women over here you know this is what they getting you had the uh the other woman she was talking after the first clip uh you had the next woman talking she was like uh she's not gonna approach men she's not gonna do that she done lost her goddamn mind, all right? You women don't know. You are going to approach men. If you want to be saved, you are going to approach men. You're going to approach men, and you're going to beg men, all right? Let me show you. Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women will take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. All right? That's what these women going to be doing, all right? They say they're going to be asking men to take away their shame all right so you are going to approach all right you better get your your game together now all right all you women who think you ain't gotta uh you know what i'm saying do what you gotta do to get that man shit all right the same way you bitches love drake on this side you're gonna love jake during that day all right you know what i'm saying that's a song it's on that wicked nigga album for all the dogs but yeah these women they, they gonna they gonna get in order real quick it's gonna be a, a mind a mindset switch like overnight <clears throat> but a lot of you women, all right, a lot of those women, they're going to get rejected in that day, all right? Because as you've seen in the, um, the second part of the lesson, all right, I had an article play where it's, where uh, a woman did the study, and it shows that 70% of women have backup plans already, all right? Showing you that these women know that the caliber of men over here is weak, all right? And they're trying to hedge their bets and do what they do, but again, you're only the only way you can... Head your bet the correct way is to be with an Israelite elect man. And ain't no Israelite elect man gonna be, you know what I'm saying, dabbling with no bitch who got no nigga. All right, you know, that, that, we don't deal that way. That's adultery, all right? Sit that, sit not with another man's wife, all right? You don't conversate with bitches who got men, all right? That's confusion, that's madness, all right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, people talking about, the scriptures tell you about lusting with the heart, you know what I'm saying, with your mind and shit, you know? And when you sit down with another man's woman, these, especially these thotties of the day, all right, you know, you could be taken by them, all right? These, these wicked demons of, I don't even call them demons, these wicked witches are very captivating with their words and with their looks and shit, all right? And you can be taken if, you know what I'm saying, you ain't on point. But uh, I said that to say, you know, a lot of these women, they ain't going to get chosen by the men of the Lord. A lot of these bitches are going to get rejected, all right? That Isaiah 4 and 1, they're going to come with them smooth words and all that shit, and the men of the Lord are going to be like, nah, bitch. Nah, I ain't, I ain't fucking with you. Cause we going the Lord gonna give His men the power to see through all the, the lies and the sorcery and the witchcraft that these bitches come with. All right. Oh, this whole apocalypse, as Candace Owens refers to it as, this whole apocalypse <laughs> of you hoes, you gotta die. All right, you know, two out of three of you. In fact, let me read that scripture. I quoted it, but let me read it. Zechariah thirteen and eight. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, the land that it's speaking of is the land of the north, all right, where all this wicked shit is, you know, is, is uh, uplifted, all right? It's forced on you, all right? And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. So two out of three of you Negroes, Spanish, and Native Americans are going to die over here. In the land of the north with these heathens. All right, and that goes for men, women, and children. All right? You know? The Lord is not a respecter of persons, and he's going to pay back all you wicked jakes. All right? For your sins in this life and your previous lives. All right? And, and, and to the women who are, you know, chosen, they're going to be chosen for uh, childbearing purposes. All right? That's their purpose of being saved. All right? Isaiah 4 and 2, And that day shall the branch of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely for them that are escaped of Israel. Key word being escaped of Israel, because everybody ain't escaping this oncoming judgment. Only the elect, 
All right. The definition. Escaped. It says having broken free from confinement or control. All right. Are we not yet this day in our captivity? All right. So we, we're going to. Lord willing, I'm at that number, but the elect is going to be, you know, good. They're going to they're gonna, uh, receive salvation and escape from this place through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, and this is before the chariots come, all right? The, the Lord going to give his men power, all right? And he's going to make his men, again, as a hiding place through the storm, through meaning Jacob's trouble, all right? And those that are joined unto him, you know what I'm saying, women, children, you know, they're going to be uh, beamed up with their men, all right? If they endure to the end, all right? Get beamed up in a chariot and see the destruction of this place. All right, let me see verse 3. And it shall come to pass that he that is left in Zion and he that remaineth in Jerusalem shall be called holy, even every one that is written among the living in Jerusalem. All right, so there you go, written in that book of life, the elect, chosen before the foundation of the earth was even laid. All right. Yeah, but, but to these harlots out here, you know. Hey, your time to, to get right is now. You better leave that hardly lifestyle alone. You know what I'm saying? Repent. You know, and, and uh, you know, get with get with the message, all right? Better find an Israelite elect man at that. You know, if you women that don't have men, your time to be trying to find an Israelite elect man is now. All right. So let me read a little bit of this. All right, this is going into that uh these bitches um you know what I'm saying having niggas on the side and shit. All right, and it said, and it also said, you know, social media got a lot to do that, do with that shit. That's why the Lord is gonna take away the internet, He's gonna take away social media. He gonna, the, the, but even with that being taken away, when the Lord takes away the word, all right, when the Lord take the prophets off the internet and, and, and close the mouth of the prophets, that's when you people really, really, really gonna be, all right, asked out. You know what I'm saying? The Lord could take away the internet and all of that shit now, but you bitches are still find a way to. You know, do what it is you do. All right, you wicked niggas, you'll still find a way to be adulterer-ass niggas and fuck with these hoes the same way you do. But when the Lord take away the prophets, that mean the elect have been sealed, and that mean all hell finna break loose. And that mean it's time to fight. And the scripture tell you these niggas ain't gonna be look, thinking about no pussy like that. These niggas gonna be as women. All right, the mighty men of Babylon gonna be as women in that day. All right, that, those that are left of them, all right, some of them gonna get drafted. A lot of them gonna get killed in the famines. In the, in, and in the wars and the seditions of men all right you're gonna have a couple of them out here that's uh again those spirits created for vengeance that's gonna be you know what i'm saying taking and seizing you women all right but hey it's gonna be a time like never was since it was a nation and we're looking forward to it we can't even talk these judgments up no matter how many videos how many lessons we do on these things we're gonna even be in, in shock and amazement when we see some of these things take take place all right you know what I'm saying? Lord willing, I'm on the elect number. So let me read a little bit of this, and I'm going to get ready and close it, because this wasn't meant to be too long. It's uh, Ecclesiasticus, or you can say Sirach, chapter 26. I'm going to start at verse 10. It says, If thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself through overmuch liberty. All right? That's the internet. All right? You know? Social media. All right? And just being able to let these bitches gather abroad in, in, in itself. They're supposed to be at home under, the, under, the, under, the, under their father's ruling you know that's it they ain't even supposed to be seen like that verse 11 watch over an impudent eye and marvel not if she trespass against thee she will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he had found a fountain drink of every water near her by every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow all right that's what these women do all right 70 percent of the babylonian women all right that means seven out of ten all right you know what i'm saying have men on the side all right in some capacity all right yeah what i was saying that's, that's some wild shit which we knew that already all right we already knew that but just to hear it be spoken out like it's being spoken you know it's, it's something all right i'm gonna jump down to verse 22 it says and the harlot shall be accounted as spittle but a married woman is a tower against death to her husband all right and the, and the, and the uh the article said the majority of them bitches are married all right now we know marriage is sex between a man and a woman all right, but uh, on this side, you know, a lot of these bitches got more than one husband. All right, you know what I mean? And the man that they with now ain't they actual husband. All right, and they got men on the side of those men. All right, you know, it's got some hoes, some hoes on some hoes. All right, it's, it's just wild out here, bro. All right, the whole apocalypse. All right, 
Verse 25, a shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, but she that is shame faced will fear the Lord, all right? And the woman's Lord is her husband. How many of these bitches out here fear their husbands? All right? You know what I'm saying? Not many. All right. Verse uh, 26, a woman that honoreth her husband shall be judged wise of all, but she that dishonoreth him in her pride shall be counted ungodly of all. All right? And that's what a lot of these bitches is going to be. They're going to be counted ungodly of all. All right, they're going to get trotted down like the shit of the street. All right, they're Micah 7 and 10. All right, they're going to get seized and taken by force. All right, and, you know, that's going to be the end of them. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, this is just, uh, again, just some quick and solid to the point, nothing too deep. All right, just uh, early morning edification. All right, dealing with the body behavior that goes down in Babylon, all right, and this shit is coming to an end, all right, we're in year 2024, the hope for year of Jacob's trouble, and this is the year your Habas and Al Shai is going to put that, put that wicked rebellious, rebellious witch spirit that the majority of our people embody down, all right, so, uh, you know, Lord willing, it was edifying, all right, any questions, comments, anything like that, just leave them in the comment section, all right, and, uh, you know, that's that. So all honor, glory, and praise go to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakai, Quadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. we are teaching the course where I learn this truth. All right, peace and salutations to Yahweh Bashmi Abshazalik, the house of David Kwame Asherala, Wild Baba Ball, Shalom, Michael.